Let's see, I got a question here. I don't know if, if Eric is still around, but um, what's a good beginner radio that's portable? Um, that's if you're thinking about um, HF portable, um, and I don't know if you are or not, or if, or or a different band or whatnot. Um, good question. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, when they get started out, they're looking to kind of save a few, you know, save a little bit of money and they get sort of drawn into these um, QRP radios, you know, like the Zygu um, or the G90 is not really QRP, a low power or, yeah. or, or some of the other, but then there's some yeah. of these other mm -hmm. ones that are a little bit more on um, the, the, the inexpensive side that, um, you know, aren't as big of an investment as say something like the Asus FT891 or, um, or one of the other portable ones that, that, you know, just a little bit higher price point. Um, I think that um, if, if you're, you know, if you're really looking to, um, you know, if, if you understand with QRP that there can be a, a certain amount of challenge to it with low power operation, you know, you um, then go ahead and, and go that route. But um, if you want something that's going to get you on the air, that's very versatile, that's at a decent price point and is highly portable, you know, that rig that I mentioned or a little, just a moment ago, the Yesu FT891, I think is probably going to be very well suited for you. Yeah. Was, was this for portable activations or was this a guy in his shack? I don't remember the question. Yeah, he doesn't. He just says a good beginner radio that's portable. So and, that's any, portable. And really, okay. any, any yeah. radio that <laughs> can be portable if it's got a handle on the sides. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, well, think about this. Okay. Here, here, check. Can you see this one in the back here? You know, what? for, for those of you that were around in the, yep. the 1970s, that's an FT uh, 100. That's and, uh, and mine's an, F mine's an FT 100 double E. <laughs> and you can't, you can't see it, but on this right hand side over here is a handle. There okay? you go. So, it's, and it runs on, it will run on 12 volts DC. Okay? It has a built in power supply for both AC power and DC power. And so you can imagine the size of the transformer that's in that power supply. Yeah. So that radio, if I remember right, the radio weighs 38 pounds. Okay. <clears throat> Would you consider that to be portable? Well, it has a handle on it. <laughs> it's got a handle on it. <laughs> yeah. And believe it or not, uh, probably about 15 years ago, I actually took that thing to a campground more than once. And, uh, I didn't try to run it on battery power because with, you know, it's got tubes in there. That thing would have sucked the biggest battery alive, you know, in, oh, yeah. in no time. <laughs> so, so I ran on AC power in the campground and it was very cool. You know, it's like, wow, this is awesome. But portable, uh, not really. Yeah. No. Oh, when I, I used to have my, I long, when I had my um, ICOM IC718, I took that one, I took that portable. I, we took a camping a few times. It always came out the field day with me, you know, it's, and it was, you know, it's not, it's not your one-on-one big, but um, it's bigger than my, it was bigger than my 891. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So, but you know, it's a portable radio. So, uh, you know, any other ones in the, in, in sort of that same price point, if you're looking used, Yesu's FT450, um, new. I know a lot of people like to take their ICOM IC7300 portable. Right, right. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that yeah. might be an option too. Um, yeah. You, you know, if a guy, a lot of guys when they're starting out, they can't buy two radios. They can't buy mm -hmm. a portable radio and a shack radio and maybe another radio for their summer home or what, whatever. I mean, yeah. they got to buy a, they got to buy an all purpose radio. Mm -hmm. And so then you got to you know make some compromises. I I've got a seventy three hundred behind me. That's my main main radio here at the rig or at the uh, station. But I do not take that out in the field. You know now <laughs> could I? Sure, but to me that radio mm -hmm. is a little too pricey and a little too delicate to to be taken around. But if but yep. if I can only buy one radio and I have to use that for everything. 
I think I'd buy the 7300 because it's a wonderful radio in, in the shack. Yeah. And, uh, it, and if you're re- and if you're careful with it, I think you could take it out in the field. That would be my choice for a one and only. Um, yeah. If I could, if I could buy two radios, I I would probably go with uh, you know one of the Zygus. Personally, I've had really good luck with my G ninety, mm-hmm. and the reason that the reason I would recommend that is not because it's made in China, which I you know is unfortunate, but the reason I would <laughs> go with that is that it's as as the radios go, it's fairly inexpensive. Yeah. You, you know, you can get that guy for about $400. It's, yeah, so it's if between, you take yeah, it, yeah, I think 400, 400, yeah, about 450, give or take a little bit. So, yeah. So, so when I go out into the field, you know, bad things happen. Uh, things get dropped, things get wet. Um, uh, you know, sometimes the environment's a little questionable and, 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 you know, I would cry for a lot shorter period of time if if something happened to my G ninety than if I yep. had like my like a seventy three hundred out there, and uh, and Absolutely. so I think I think you know uh, it's smaller too. It's smaller. It uh, draws less less current, so you don't need as big of a battery. Yeah, a couple other options. Um, I've heard the nine ninety one has come up a couple of times. You know, for a one and only. I think that's it's a it's an it's it's a very compact, uh, so it's it's full of featured, um, yeah. Otherwise known as the shack in a box. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Mike, what is he's, it? He's, he's he's got an old seventy one hundred. So, oh yeah, the seventy one hundred. That's yeah. a good. That would be a good uh, one. One and only. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, the nine ninety one. Continue to. <laughs> Yeah, what is that now? It's 991A, isn't it? Yeah, the 991A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, but that's, you know, good, you know, those are all good choices. So uh, there's, there if, if you're looking for new rigs, you know, a lots, a lots of them to, to choose from. So kind of keep that in mind, you know, if mm-hmm. you're thinking about, you know, a, a good a good beginner radio because I think all of those for portable, all of those are are great choices. And um, just kind of give a used, shout out here. Yeah, yeah the ahead. used markets are really strong now too. So if you yeah. buy a radio and you and you decide that well, this isn't this isn't really uh, a marriage made in heaven, it's not difficult to sell a used rig for pretty good money now. No, that is true. That's true. So. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.